So this city that we're looking at was part of a one episode video in which I started a city in City Skylines 2 solely to go over the absolute bare necessities, the bare minimum things to, to know and to keep in mind in starting a city. And then once you got the city up and running, then you could go on with the foundation and, and continue creating this city or take that knowledge and start a new city. And we worked our way up to the very first milestone, which is Tiny Village. I've been thinking that what if you're wanting more than that? You're wanting, well, Leonard, let's, instead of just Tiny Village, I'd like some assistance. I'd like to, to watch and have a tutorial on working up towards, say, Grand Village, which is our first major milestone. So what I would like to do is the very first video of this series is the quick start guide. But I'd like to do an ongoing series of several videos in which we start a city and we, yes, we look at the bare necessities, but we build on that. We look at charts. We understand why we zone the way we do and population and, and, and when and how to place different buildings. That's, that's what I want to do is I want to start a city with the understanding that we're going to be taking it a little bit further into into the milestones. But once again, if all you want is just a quick start guide, then the first video of this series is the quick start guide. And then the videos after is where we're starting a new city and we're digging a little bit deeper into the concepts of, of getting a city started so if you just want to watch great if you want to play along excellent but that's what I want to do is I want to get a city started with City Skylines 2. If it's one of your first cities I recommend staying with a map that offers lots of buildable area and is relatively flat such as a barrier island sweeping plains but let's let's go with this map here I like that it offers 66% buildable area. Uh, the climate is relatively friendly. You've got good connections for highway, rail, ship, airplane, electricity. We've got natural resources for uh, fertile land so we can grow some, we can start some farms. We've got forests in the area as well as ore and oil. So I think this is a good map to get started with our city. I'm going to do the North American theme. I'm going to stick with right-hand traffic. Uh, instead of unlocking everything and having unlimited money, let, let's earn the money. That way we're really taking advantage of learning the best way to play the city. And then as you become more familiar, if you want to unlock things or have unlimited money, great. But let's get started with our city. All right, excellent. This is our city plot our first tile first thing we want to do let's pause when we start placing things any item that has an ongoing cost will start being deducted from your bank account so let's give ourselves the best opportunity possible so that's that's by pausing the other thing that we want to do is let's take some time and just look around the map Let's go up here to our info view. Let's come down to air pollution. City Skylines 2, unlike City Skylines 1, and very similar to the latest Sim City, the wind will carry your air pollution. So this already tells us we're going to want to put our industry in this direction. While we're in info view, let's go over to water pollution. And water pollution is going to tell us the direction of the water. Another new feature is underground water deposits. So if we want, we can get water from, we have two areas within our starting grid that we can get water from underground or 
can bring in water from the waterway and the arrow shows us so you want to get your clean water here and then look at where the water is flowing to and this is where we're going to put out our sewage water so we already know some things about water if we look in this direction we will see an outside connection and that outside connection is electricity so we will take advantage of importing electricity at least on the front end at some point as the city becomes larger it's going to make more sense to have our own electricity produced within the city but for right now we're going to get our, our electricity from an outside connection. I see well outside of our city limits, but close, forest. Maybe we can get into some forestry. If we look, we can make out and get an idea of which way we may want to grow our city. One thing that you can do if you're trying to figure out flat land you can click on road and this radius you zoom in you can see how it starts to follow the contours of that hill if we go back here see how it's relatively flat just you can make out just the ever just a bit of a slope there. That's one good way of getting an idea of, of the contours. You think of it, we, we have not unlocked highways, but we still want to treat these this initial road like a highway. You don't want to build on it. City builders like this, you really want to be mindful of your traffic. So that's the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start a road. So we've looked at some data layers for air pollution, water pollution. Let's take a look here. Some things are still locked. But we can get information on our city. So in addition to this, which is showing demand, you can click on this. And not only will it show you the same information, but it will give you information about what causes demand to go up or to go down. We have our zones. As of right now, we can only do low density housing, commercial, low density, and industrial. Roads electricity water unlocked all of these are locked here is our landscaping bulldozer underground views chirper followed citizens event journal your music if you want to skip ahead you can do so pause your music change the volume right down here it shows our happiness we have a possibility of a of one through five in happiness. Right now, we're right in the middle. This is our the money that we have, our population, zero, the name of our city, climate, time of year, and the fact that we're paused. For the sake of simplicity, I am just going to run a medium road. Let's just run a medium road out for a while. I'm not going to build on this road. If you think about a tree, you've got the main trunk and then you branch out from there. Leaves on a tree are on the branches, they're not on the trunk. Or if you think about a city, you have a highway, you don't have anything typically built on a highway or an expressway. You leave the highway and you branch off for things. So let's let's kind of start planning. 
Let's take care of electricity first. We want to make a connection for electricity. Let's do a road. And then let's connect the road. Just something basic. Let's go to electricity. Let's go to the transformer. And if you look, you'll see electrical lines are running through the, sh the roads in City Skylines 2. So you see the connection. Let's do that. You see the icon. It's not connected. So let's go back to electricity. Let's get a power line. Let's run this to here. And you'll see that the icon went away. So we are now connected to the outside world for power. Let's come over here. Water. Let's get our water pumping. And remember, we want this over here where the clean water is. Let's zoom in. It's not connected by pipe and road. Water pipes are in the road. So let's zoom out. And let's do a medium because we're going to put this road to use for not just water. Now that we've done that, our icon has gone away. So now we've got our water. Let's come over here. Let's take care of sewage, sewage outlet. Let's put that right there. You'll look, you'll see the icon for sewage pipe, but you don't see an icon for road. You do not need roads for sewage. So let's connect it to this road. So all I need is a sewage pipe. icon has gone away. We have now satisfied the three major things we need to take care of. Power, water, sewage. Let's start working on that was truly superfluous. getting some that people was into this city. So let's get some individuals in. So we've got our major trunk we're branching out for simplicity's sake. Let's, let's do another one in this direction. If you see that the road is a little bit weird looking, and if you're anything like me and you would prefer that the road be nice and straight, well, all you have to do is go to Bulldoze. And let's, let's straighten, let's get ourselves a nice straight road. Much better. Now we still need to make our connection. And let's let's curve it. Let's go back to roads. Select grid. Now let's come 
down. And let's do... Let's do that. I want a medium road feeding off of this branch into my neighborhood. And then maybe let's do a one this way. So you want to think about traffic. You want to think about how the, the people are going to want to get from one location to another. So anybody living here, the simulation is going to take them to the main road here. Whereas people living here, the simulation is going to take them using that road. So always think about your roads. Think about how to minimize the traffic flow. Let's do some industrial. Small roads. Looks like grid is already selected. Let's connect. Let's do medium. Now let's look at this and let's think about scenarios. So everybody living here is going to take this road to get there. So how can we make life easier for our residents? Let's make life easier by doing this. maybe curve let's do one here this one. So now what we've got is we've given the residents some options. We're making it easy on our roadway. We're not overtaxing it just yet. We have demand for some things. So let's start with residential. We're going to put some residential areas in. Let's go to zones. Let's click on green area for residential. And when you're doing residential, you've got, got some options. You can do fill. You can do marquee. Or you can do paint. If you do fill, one of the things that you're going to want to keep in mind is the size of these these grids and what's going to happen. So if I do fill and fill all of this in, these are going to be large houses. And that's that's fine. So we'll do large houses here because this they're going to take up all of that space. Over here, what I want to do is let's do marquee. And I want these houses to be a little bit smaller. Let's go maybe three by three. Because I'm trying to avoid that high rent notification that we may get so let's just do a couple of let's do that a 
variety of sizes. What we could do is mixed in. Maybe we can do some commercial. As this area develops, then we can put in some larger Or maybe here, maybe this house is a, it's a bit bigger. Let's hit play. See, the footprint of this house is going to be bigger than some of these. It's just one way of trying to avoid that high rent notification. While that's taking place, let's come over here. Now for industry, we can just do fill. If people are driving to and from work and we know that they're going to be taking a road like this to get to get home, then this is a good place for commercial. Now that's a large area for commercial, so I don't want to do that. So let's do something like this. go here we've taken care of some of these smaller homes so let's do this let's go two three four five six let's do that let's maybe make a slightly smaller And this is going to give us some variety in the sizes of the houses. Housing demand is still high. You're back with Second Moon Radio, your second musical home from home. So settle back in your chair, pour yourself a glass, and prepare for another hour of musical delight. Tonight, we once again, if you want to skip ahead, there. Let's do a corner, kind of a corner shopping area. Something like that. zone it this way and let the houses start to build instead of getting these large houses you get a variety of different sizes 
there. Just a little bit of variety. So instead of houses that take up the entire block, we now have a bit of some, some different sizes of houses. All in an effort to help you not have to deal with that high rent notification. Because the simulation looks at the size of the house and basis and, and, and sets the, the rent based on the size, the footprint of the house. Doesn't look like anything's growing here because we don't have high commercial demand. But now that we've filled that in, let's let's see what we get here. There. Let's come down here. And then kind of a cul-de-sac. Let's put in a house here. There. Nice. See the wind is carrying our pollution in that direction. We've got demand. We are not zoning on this. I'm treating this like a major roadway. Let's give the people on this side a bit of commercial. starts to get us close to our first milestone tiny village so let's look at our demand and it will tell us what causes so commercial demand look at these things that are affecting commercial demand look at what's affecting our industrial demand Those double bells tells us that our population is going up. Our happiness just went up. You can hover over happiness. Plus 10 spacious homes. Plus 9 wealth. Plus 1 abundance of leisure time. Let's get some people right on the water. Some waterfront property. And I'm looking at my circle. Let's curve this. So we just reached our first milestone. Milestone number one, tiny village. We got some additional funds as well as development points and we can purchase more tiles. So there's our loan limit, more map tiles. We now have access to city budget, city statistics, we now have access to medium density row housing for European, North American medium density. We got more roads, health care, death care, garbage management. 
development, we now have one development point, which we're not going to use right now. There's no need of it. But the one thing that we do need to start doing is now that we start unlocking things, some of these items that we're unlocking, once they are unlocked, they become important and they will have a negative impact on the happiness if you don't place it. As you can see, there is a negative, unreliable healthcare coverage. So it's already saying, hey, where is our healthcare? So let's take care of that. I do not want to put healthcare on a major road. I like to put things on, on a feeder road. Let's go to healthcare. Let's go to our medical clinic. Let's place it. I want to give it a little bit of space because buildings in City Skylines 2 are modular. They can be upgraded. So let's click on this. Ambulance Depot. See how it adds. Extension wing. So we're going to want to keep in mind this, the footprint of some of these add-ons. So see how the negative went away? We've provided some health care. Let's put the cemetery on the water or close to the water. bit of a slope. This might become another neighborhood. Let's do this. Cemetery. And let's put it right about right there. Who knows, maybe the city will grow up around the cemetery. Let's also take care of garbage. This could be a good service road for not only power, but maybe this is a good spot for garbage as well. That icon is our sewage. Make sure that connects. There. Garbage. Let's put garbage here. And let's click on landfill tool. have our garbage set up. We've got more demand. 
So now our demand is for not just low density, but medium density. So maybe along this road is where some medium density can go. Or along this road. So let's take care of low density. Let's get some low density housing on the water. And then over here, let's do some medium density. Some North American style row houses. Let's just do a bit and let's see what it looks like. Let's do commercial and back to our we've got low density demand some variety so at this point what's important as far as data have we unlocked other things that we can look at well we've now got healthcare this is Death Care. Second Moon Radio Classical for the Modern Age. Unlike most modern music, classical has always been penned by someone sit The leader of the city services division is with us. So we can look at healthcare availability. As you can see, it's all the way over. So wonderful. Cemetery availability. We do not have a crematorium. Garbage. Our zones. Happiness. Population information. That shows us children, teens, adults, seniors. We have not unlocked the view that tells us about their education level yet. Map tiles has now been unlocked, so we can click on that. We still do not have natural resources unlocked, but we can start the process of purchasing map tiles if we want it to do so. But we don't we don't need to do that just yet. We've already checked on our milestones. We have one development point. 
city population demand We have unlocked city economy. So as you can see, we're spending a lot more than we're making, which is perfectly fine in the early stages. We want to avoid taking out loans. Our budget is, is doing well. We do not have access to taxes, services, or production yet. There are city statistics. 